Hey everybody, this is Dead Winter Dead, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Well, today I'm going to be showing you a nifty little trick that will save you 20,000 souls. You will enter through Firelink Shrine, immediately turn right and head up the stairs. You will see three arches, you can kind of see them right there. You'll enter through the arches, there'll be a little fog wall, you can just walk right through them. And start messing with this tree. As you can see, if you walk up the edge of the tree, you see how my character kind of elevates? you can actually get a running start, elevate your character, and jump onto the roof. Now doing this bypasses that gate that is behind me. You just saw a quick flicker of it right there. Uh, in order to get that key to the gate, it actually costs 20,000 souls. You can buy the key from the shrine handmade. But once you make it up, you're good to go. Now there's going to be one item that I will have to come back because I hadn't, I hadn't actually received uh, this particular token yet. But right here, there are going to be three homeward bones. You're going to circle around on the roof and head inside through this archway. This is a little bit precarious, but uh, it's pretty easy to navigate. Just don't fall off or else you will have to start that tree jumping bit all over again. Now just above me, you see the, uh, the feathers. Just above me is the actual crow's nest and you can actually do this if you buy the 20,000 uh, soul key. You can actually go on top of this and do the exact same thing, but this is saving us 20,000 souls. So we drop a regular firebomb onto the nest refuse here. And you'll pick up some titanite shards. Let's see here. Leave. Just need to leave one. Just scroll through it. One. Drop down. That will drop down. You'll get kind of a little bit of gibberish. You can see it right there on the screen. Now pick up item large titanite shard. You can also leave a black firebomb as well. Leave, just leave one. And you'll lose it from your inventory. And there we go. Large titanite shard. And then I believe you get another set. So titanite chunk. You can also leave a homeward bone. Let me back out of this screen here. A little bit, a little bit goofy. If you leave a homeward bone, you will also receive, I believe you receive uh, some iron, iron bracers, iron bracelets, and another piece of equipment. I'm not quite sure. It might be, it might be like a titanite chunk as well. Oh yeah, you receive the, the iron bracers and then the jester call over. Pick that up. You've got the Estus shard, so now we can upgrade our Estus use to seven. As you can see, I have six. Right in front of you is an invisible wall. Attack it, it will disappear. Now you can work your way across this little catwalk right here. Remember not to fall off or else you have to start all over again. Drop down here and to the right will be a chest. Inside is the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, which increases all of your drops. I believe it increases 150% soul drops when you first get it. And you can upgrade it to, um, I think, 175 and then finally up to 200% of your drops. I'm not sure if it affects actually item drops or if it's just soul drops. There is one other item you can get, which is the Sun Armor. I think it's uh, Solaire's Armor. But you need to go through the Undead Settlement and pick up another little trinket for that crow. Hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is Dead Winter Dead. Thanks for watching.